Hello, hello everybody. It is uh, how's it shaking? It's your boy Real Diversity, man. We're back with another uh, video on uh, Marvel Snap, and today we're gonna be using our Patriot deck. So, uh, actually, I was gonna say without further ado, let's hop into a match. But let me show you guys the deck real quick. It's probably like the third time I've talked about it. So if you've seen any of my other recent videos, the runs that should be right around this one, if not before or after this one, I made a video where I broke down these uh the newest decks i made um they're pretty much kind of low pull three decks because i think you can pretty much like for example look at this deck like i think the only real card that you wouldn't have early on is valkyrie patriot and i think you do get mystique pull too i could be wrong i need to look into that look i need to look into the um what series she is uh, she might be series uh three potentially so oh and also debris is also maybe potentially series three so potential oh wasp is also all in of series three too i forgot about her so yeah kind of an interesting group here i it's kind of like low to mid if you're just like lucky and just somehow randomly get all these cards i'm like midway through pool three and this is like one of the decks i built so i'm assuming it's not too crazy hard uh valkyrie was like kind of newest addition and I made another deck. Uh, this was more sustainable, I think, because you get Blue Marvel, uh, Iron Man. You get almost all of these guys except Wasp, Debris, Patriot, I think, uh, early, like super early. I'm pretty sure even like Onslaught's like a starter card. I could be wrong, but he he's definitely an early card. Um, so, yeah, that's the genetic makeup of that uh, the deck. So, hopefully, if you need a little bit more time... Uh, go back and pause but essentially it's a patriot deck i don't think a lot of people it takes too much explaining um except for knowing what patriot does who he gives plus two ability to any um to any um level if to any non-ability card so any vanilla card essentially um so yeah so example uh like uh symbiote symbiote is a um that's going to be a uh before I decide to throw some rocks, let me check this out first. So Juggernaut, I mean, why would I want to go there, by the way, Juggernaut? Also, if I had Killmonger, that's not a good spot. Uh, but anyways, okay, so I'm going to fix. So let's, we know we need to save some space for, we need to save some space here. So, you know, actually what would work better is if I do this, because then Debris becomes a, she's susceptible to Patriot after this. So this is actually a smarter play here for me. I'm sure you just played Juggernaut because he probably know the cards. But uh, on uh, going abilities, so on person like as long as we leave room for Mystique and Patriot, we're good here. I think so. It's fine. Uh, let's actually Angela. We could play her, but I think we'll just do ourselves more of a service by just going ahead and uh and just pin down like Abomination Hulk. If we get Patriot, that's cool. We'll play him. But the, the thing about this deck is really you just want to... Oof, thank God. So, yeah, thank God he went ahead and did that. Because uh, he, he needed he needed that boy. He needed him for sure. He really should not have played him. So, what do I want to do here? Do I want to mislead him? Because he can see what we're going to do. So, do I want to... No, let's not. Let's just go ahead and secure it. Did he even look? Or does his... does? Since he doesn't have Daredevil anymore. Oh, who comes out? Uh, Shocker would be great here. Okay, Mystique. It doesn't matter. It's fine. We weren't fancy. Actually, it does matter because now he can essentially... What he can actually do is essentially counter that play now. So I guess we go Hulk here because he can't just three that one. 2D3 there. Six on the right. I don't think he can come up with that three and six separately so Hulk here should secure the win <laughs> what okay I should have I did snap I, I should have snapped um wow what a play what a play that's a big brain play right there that is big brain play right there um only way I could have countered that is essentially by wait do we win or lose there hold up because it should have been tied did we lose there I had to go back and watch the video but it was essentially tied on a rock slide wasn't it so it was about total 12 we had Hulk 
he had nine. So, you know, we should have won. I think eight, eight, nine. Uh, who else do we have? Thing, abomination, debris. No, we just had rocks out. I don't. I do. It didn't say defeat or what? Because it should have tied. I, now I think back on that, Matt. It should have tied. It should have like been a like draw when I say tie, like not an actual like we both had the same thing. Uh, once again, this is one of those great spots for debris to kind of help us out. But the one thing I hate about this deck is you need Patriot. Unlike some of my other decks, or some move deck cool, uh, you need Patriot, and it just really it's kind of not fun to um, need just one car. It's kind of like having a Mister Negative deck or like a uh, Silver Surfer deck. And when you rely just solely on that one card, it really sucks out to you. It really does. So. I think we just pull uh, Debris out here. Just in case we get, like, the thing or something next turn. We can still make a play. We still got Misty Knight. We can still make a play with her by turn in the next two turns, so. It's fine. My deck, I don't think, was obvious prior to this turn. So, but this is really bad for a move deck. Okay, which we did get Shocker. Like I was kind of, ex kind of expecting Shocker, honestly. Um, yeah, I guess we just play these guys to be, just in case we get Patriot next turn. It. I don't like to play cards this early if I don't like see a path to winning, but. I mean, I guess, I mean, just, luckily for us, he just has a move deck. What sucks about this, though, is if we just had like, anyone else, like my other deck would have been great. Oh, cool, cool, cool. So that helps us a little bit here. We can move to that location. But he picked two cards. What's the second card you threw there, Iron Fist? Oh, are you playing uh, a potential, nope, just Nightcrawler, okay. Uh, who can I afford to let go here? I can actually let two of you guys go. Cause I can play Abomination and then just Hulk next turn, I think. I mean, while I play Abomination this turn, then Wasp and uh, Hulk next turn. Right? So, yeah. If he moves, that's fine, too. Actually, I should have moved. Yeah, this is fine. I'm sure he's gonna move Craven and uh, Human Torch there, so I actually probably should just stay where I was at. But it's a okay. Oh, he just moved. Wait, Vulture wasn't even. Okay, I don't know what just happened. Okay, that's fine. If that was Patriot, this could have worked too. Patriot would have worked here. Um, but yeah, I don't, he doesn't have any win conditions. I mean, even Heimdall, uh, Heimdall's not enough to win. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. So I think he's just screwed here. I might've snapped, like he might leave, but I don't know. He might think he has a win condition. He really messed up by what he did vulture play. I have no idea. He should have played, uh, he should have played cloak turn. I mean, I'm expecting a Heim to come out here, which is A-OK -okay if he wins this location because we win every other one, right? Yeah, because I think Torch only goes to four. I did the math already. I'm not going to question myself here. So. Yep. Good deal. You know, Angela... She might be a decent card to go on my move deck now that I think about it. Since cards are moving so much, I can play them on her and then just move it out her way. And she could she can rack up pretty easily, I think, on a move deck. I gotta think about who who could take who she spot she could take on that deck. Cause she just kind of would be a a eh. every card in my move deck has a purpose, so I think it's really probably no room for her, but I just, it just kinda came to me like what if I just 
I, I use so many cards. I could probably definitely get her like 10 every game. If she up, oh, shocker, darn. Uh, oh, thank God. Thank, well, we didn't, it didn't matter. At least doesn't matter to us. Shocker is fine. We didn't get Shocker because we, we got Angela. At least, at least we got a card to play this turn, so. That's fine. Fine by me. When you play a card here, add a cop to your hand. Uh, okay. Domino, okay. We really need a three. Give me a three. Patriot would be nice here early on. Nope. It's fine. This is not really... Okay, that's fine, too. Cosmo. This is an ongoing deck anyway, so... Well, actually, Cosmo does affect one person and one person only. But here, we're going to mislead you here and probably get you to play another Cosmo down. Oh, thank God. Thank God. All right, cool. Um, Yeah, I think Abomination just comes out here. And then we'll see if he plays. Let's see what he does now. That's probably the second Cosmo, so I'm not... That doesn't intimidate me. Let me get Wasp. That would be great. Nope, no Wasp. Uh... I'm sure that's the second Cosmo, so I'm not even going to. I'm just gonna go Hulk here then, I guess. So. Oh, and we went first. I wonder did he know that? Cause I'm pretty sure he had Cosmo down. Nope, Cosmo. Wait, who is that? Oh, Captain Marvel. Yeah. So. Uh, sometimes, yeah, simple, simple and easy. Some like sometimes it's weird. I mean, like. I mean, it's just weird sometimes. I was expecting a Cosmo there because he did play Cosmo in that middle lane, but like, it, like it's crazy how sometimes just having power can really win you games. You just gotta really, really uh, kind of know what's going on. So I think we go ahead and get Hulk now. My biggest concern with playing Hulk so early is that he may have a potential. Um, there may just be a potential. Uh, he may have potential Shang-Chi, so let's, let's go ahead and pick Hulk out. Okay, the thing, that's not okay, actually, but I'm not too devastated about it. So, this is a destroy deck. I don't think Shang-Chi is in the... De I mean, it's, it's not, you know, it's not impossible, just kind of improbable. So, quite the... Quite, quite like a little bit to overcome here. So depending on what this is, okay, yeah, so we have options, so we're just gonna snap, honestly. No point not to. I think Wasp Abomination come out on that, on turn five on that far right lane if nothing else happens here. Polaris. Uh yeah, it's all right. I don't care. Might need to say walls for that middle lane though, so kind of kind of iffy right now about it. Uh, also, we might want to put. Let's do you for now because I want to. Another strat we might. Oh, the god, he's. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I mean, if we never do anything, but oh, that's pretty smart though, using book like that. Um. Valkyrie has no no play here. But let's go ahead and put Abomination down, I think. Here. God damn. I literally was telling myself, no way he has it. No way he has it. And yet, he has it, so... Yet he has it. And we did not get the car we wanted. Well, we can still win this lane, uh, interestingly enough. It's just if he can, can he pull off a win on that far right lane? Uh, he probably has death. Uh, 12. Damn, dang it. Death would be enough there, I think. 
Death would be enough there. But I don't know if that's going to be his move or not. But Polaris. And She-Hulk. I think he 12. Do we win? Who wins here? Is it tie? I think. Ah, oh, we lost. How do we lose? Oh, the three. Oh, I gave him plus three. So I think it would have. If if he moved all his cards, I think we would have been at a uh, one two, minus the three. He would. He was at. He was at twenty three. We was also at twenty three. But we gave him an extra three. So he, darn close, close but no cigars. You know, I should just play Valkyrie there. I, I was not expecting her them to move all their cards. A Valkyrie there would have won the game for me, I think, because, uh, yeah. Why did not I do that play? I don't know. No, because we would have, it was no way of knowing that it was going to move their cards. Always in hindsight, you're like, why didn't I do something? But then it's like, well, it, it looked like a dumb play. But the Shang-Chi's crazy, though. I'm sure he was just waiting on, um, I'm sure the only card that man was waiting on at the time was, uh, was Def, if he has Def, because Def, Def's not that, that common, if we're being honest, because she is a, um, Def is a, uh, uh, like, a mid pull of three cards, so it's not, like, not everyone has her. Well, she's just a pull three card, not like mid, middle of the pack or anything like that. Um, man, is there no one better than Misty right now in this to go in this middle lane? I think not. I think even if we get Patriot later, it's fine. I think it's just still to play. Oh, what location do you ruin? Oh, good. Thank God. I was going to say, because if it ruins that far left one, we're kind of screwed. Okay, and do we, of course, we do get Patriot. I mean, like, literally, of course, we get him. We'll do some calculations and see if it's better to run Patriot or Hulk. We'll do a little bit of math. I think it'll probably Patriot and Mystique combo. And he goes first here. Uh... That's interesting. He does go first here. I mean, we could just okay. Yeah, let's. This is this is an interesting play, but let's go ahead because he does go first. Okay, double dance. Ah, once again, one of those cards that I, I said didn't really matter. Yeah, Hulk's not even nowhere near enough here. Yeah, we was losing this. And even if we played Abomination, I mean, well, maybe not. Because how much do we gain from this? Two, like only four each. Four each. Uh, thing would have been at 10. Abomination would have been at 15, actually. Or 13, sorry. Five. Uh, six four. Yeah, I just think we didn't we didn't win that. All right, let's get up out of here. Let's get up out of there. Of course, we run into a, a Jubilee deck, and of course, he pulls the best possible card, and of course, he has the one and only counter to a uh, Valkyrie, which is Daredevil, Devil Dinosaur. Besides, like Devil Dinosaur, and like there's almost no other card I can think of where the three. The, the moving change the power to three actually matters, except like um, I guess like Punisher, Punisher and uh, yeah, it even hurts like guys like uh, Warpath. So I, it's it's strange. It's one of those like hit or miss. It really is. If we get a rock, that's perfectly fine. I'm not gonna cut with you. We can definitely get a rock here. Do we already, and we already got Mystique too, so great. Yeah, 
Okay, let's see. I honestly think the Brie here. Uh, Try to make sure I'm not making any dumb mistakes here. Yeah, we need, yeah, for sure, debris because of, uh, yeah. We need, we need some crowd control here. Yes, A okay with me, honestly, so I'm not even gonna trip about that. Honestly, if we're going like not all right, so here's something to keep in note here is honestly if we're going to go for numbers Like if we're gonna play the numbers we gotta if we're gonna do the mystique and patriot play we need to play the numbers game So every like numbers matter here as as far rather than uh, like power as like, you know So we're trying to get as many cars down as we can so next turn. I wish we could do Oh, that's interesting. Uh, and then... I mean, I guess Abomination. You know what sucks is I'm starting to think about now is that he could very easily have... Now, wait, he does have Nova. He could very easily have Killmonger is what I'm starting to think now. Let's do this play, I think, when we're still good. Sarah. Because if Polaris Pol is a three, I think this is a uh, potential. Okay, good, Walsh, thank God. Something. So here's the play. Thank God we pulled Walsh. I think we just focus on here. I really think a rock comes out, so I don't want to like even waste, you know. And we go first, so he can't really disrupt this. Let's just see what happens. Did he snap or do we? Shang Chi comes out. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Oh no! Darn. I was expecting that too, by the way. But it's just still sucks to see. Yep, I and I, I I don't I mean I'm you know I can only like kick myself for that because the moment I saw Nova I should have said let me not worry about rocks let me I should have changed my I should have that that was that's on me that that's that loss is on me because I knew I knew when I saw Nova he's going he either has a destroy deck or. I don't, I don't know if he's fighting a meta. I don't know what, like, that, that deck is like an anti-meta deck right now, I think. So, yeah, uh, Clutch, and it's so rare. It's so rare that we actually get that Patriot uh, play, so it's, it does suck that it, okay, good. We get it again here, so second, we do get a chance for redemption here, so. One thing we want to do is definitely, let's see what, let's see what the second location is. Ah, okay, 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 cool. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Uh, yeah, Angela. I think you might, you might, you might try to come out turn five potentially. We don't, we don't, we gotta, we gotta fill up this left lane because we don't want to get moved here on accident. That is, that's a goofy play right there. If you lost the Thor, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
rocks been thrown at me. All right, so, uh, yep, thing. We need somebody else to come out here. Hopefully, oh, snap, we can't win with just them all in one lane, though. It's an issue. Let's, uh, let's change course because if he's going to play Shuri, then I think I have a plan. If you're going to, okay, yeah, let me see. Let me see what you do here. Okay, good, 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 good. Do we, okay, I want to lead. Hopefully we're leading. Ah, Darn, we're, he's going to go first. Oh, no, not Patriot. Come on. I thought it was turn. Yeah, well, he's done for. Do we have a wind condition here? I'm like expecting Taskmaster to come out. It's just where does the Taskmaster come out is the question. I think we leave here because I, I just don't really see any win condition. Uh, any, uh, it's crap. Uh, biggest thing about I, I like hate and like love I don't I dislike and like about Marvel Snap is um, locations will always seem to some way like fight hit you in the butt because it seems almost like a lot of locations have synergy and it cannot be coincidental that of course we get um, was that was that Sanctrum Sanctrum or whatever that location is called of course we get that location on top of uh, everything else we already had going on, so. Okay, I don't mind the rappers uh, at all. Um, something interesting to note, though. I could go ahead and close that lane up because I know he's not going to play on it. So. Let's actually just do that. Court. Okay. That's fine with us. We like we like rocks. Okay, he didn't even have time to get a, to get an advantage on... Uh... Okay, all cards must play turn five. That's fine. Okay, Patriot Mystique. All right, all right, all right, all right. I think we just Patriot Mystique early. Um, honestly. Unless he just miraculously has some way to get rid of these rocks, which I doubt, highly doubt. Which is that that's perfectly fine getting that little thing. He is pulling that slot machine, so.
I didn't want to snap because uh, he might have potentially had Leach, but I don't think Leach would have mattered. That's why I, I, um, I'm glad we played the Patriot early because he might have had Leach in the back and that would have ruined the whole play. The more, I, the longer I play this game, the more it's like I can see what can go wrong, and a lot of times it does actually happen. It's like, well, the worst thing that can come out here is like Iron Man, or the worst thing that can come out here is a leech or an onslaught, and it usually like will come out, and it's just like, wow, that uh, that sucks. So it's kind of crazy how often uh, you, you, the stuff you don't want to happen will happen. The stuff you know can happen can also happen. Let me go here, uh, far right, just because if the location swaps, if this is a bad location, then we'll be fine, because it'll swap. Okay, and it actually was a good location, so, that's good. So, we can, hopefully we can get something good to go ahead and win on here. If we draw two cards, we're Gucci, uh, Deathlock, so, interesting play. I'll play you first just so we can, uh, oh, turn, oh, it, it might swap soon, though. Well, this is fine, I think, here, we can make this play. I'm about to answer that in just a second. So, location does swap, though. So, I did just peep that. Let me see. It, he, it's kind of going to be a guessing game for him, though. I guess if I was him, I'd go middle just in case it does go middle. And it'd be... I would play on middle. Um, but let me see if we have... No, no, no connection issues. So, I think I think the location moves before... Oh, what gets moved over? Okay, that's... All right. Because I think we still win all locations if it swaps. Yeah. We still win all locations. So, that's fine. We get the two. Okay, cool. And we, good thing. That's why I waited. I waited to play Mystique just for that reason. Right there. Then I think Hulk just far. So. We could also make the Rock play here and just. Uh, Valkyrie play, I mean. So. Forge. Ah, good uh, good move. Good move, my guy. That's fine. We're not uh, like at a disadvantage for that or anything. This Patriot can just move over one. And uh, what is the play, though? There really isn't one, but just essentially... Uh, I think we just essentially try to get as much power as we can and tie the game. You yeah. know? Yeah, we can really only play. Yeah, Hulk, I guess so. If he shanks Chia, cheese it right, then he's good. Well, we actually win here if we have more power. So, ah, good, uh, good play. But we we win middle though. Oh, actually, he wins. He wins easily. Easily beats us out there. So crazy. If only we had actually the play there was Valkyrie, but right, Valkyrie would have. Uh, Two, we had two. Well, I couldn't have known that, but they would have. No, they would have still won because of uh, darn. We we needed like. Uh, I thought we have. I thought we still had Squirrel Girl in this deck. I, I guess not. The Killmongers today are rampant, man. It might. It almost. I almost might need to play armor or something. It's crazy. Or Cosmo or somebody to kind of counteract it, but I. I. Yeah, it's just. That type of day. I think because Debris was running rampant during... um, I think Debris was just kind of running rampant during that uh, that whole... Uh, yes, that throne. The space throne uh, event yesterday or, or whenever Wednesday was. So. Uh, can't do nothing here. I think we just play... Whoa, oh, Mysterio. Okay, this is definitely a destroyed deck, so. I'm trying not to help him out by giving him anything to destroy. But, uh.
what's funny and what I'm kind of thinking about doing here is throwing a bunch of rocks out, but I don't, I don't know yet. Bishop. I said I really I need really good calls to do it, but I'm thinking about throwing like a bunch of rocks and running. Uh I mean I'm a, I'm a assume this is a uh destroy deck, right? And I guess now debris comes out. <laughs> wow, a little too too little too late looks like so. There must be Killmonger here. Oh Carnage. Okay. Oh Killmonger wouldn't even work in his deck. Uh, he kind of got that to work out in his favor. Let's see if, uh, what we draw here, because I think we're just, just done here. And then, of course, we do get Patriot. Um, let me do some math here for, let's see. How much do y'all get is the question, these rocks here? Should, it should be enough. But that's just where he plays his next card out. So. Let's see what happens. Rescue. I don't think he get. He doesn't get the bonus, right? Because it's got to be next turn. And then Shang-Chi. I think we win this because we definitely should be able to produce, I think, um, 16 in that left location. So... Plus to five, right? Yep, there it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, he had, there's a six. Is that enough? Not even close. So. Burn! He wasn't, couldn't expect that. The uh, Shang-Chi would have been all right if he wasn't already winning, but, you know. Could not, he could not have expected that. I would have probably saved the Shang-Chi for that. Well, I don't know. I think he played right. It was just all about... Just kind of, it just looked like a win a little too early is all. So, I would have been worried of a Patriot coming out. I think the um, the debris. Yeah, we couldn't have played debris far right, or she would. Yeah, we was that's our initial plan was to like throw debris out and then just like cover up the map. <laughs> but for us to have done that, we would have had needed to play Patriot like turn three and then maybe did debris turn like four. Or even, like, yeah, that would have been, like, our only hope of getting that playoff. But that would have been kind of funny. But, yeah, anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoy, man. It's been 40 minutes on here. Uh, I've always always enjoyed these, man. I hope you guys do, too. Uh, I, I I always said, man, I'm not ever going to make a Patriot deck. As even when I got the card. Because it's, like, the he's, like, the only card like you to make a good, a decent, de a, a decent one. Like, this one... Like I said, it takes, like, besides Wasp, which she does come clutch Wasp, I will say she is great to have in this deck, really. And probably what this deck, in this deck alone, besides, like, Lockjaw, is her, like, niche. Because um, she can come out and just kind of give you, like, four, five. She's, like, a zero-five in this deck if, on the right play, right? So so she definitely can give you, uh, 
you know, like that's crazy. Zero five is crazy. And like how clutch she came last game. She was like a zero whatever, you know. So it's it's just it can't happen. Um, but yeah, and then like debris and things like that. She it's disruptive to the opponent, but also she gives us like you know those rocks are uh, relevant for us. But we do need Patriot. Is why sometimes I'm not the biggest fan of that. I think what I could do, I could substitute debris out for. Uh, Squirrel Girl, and I could also substitute maybe Valkyrie out for, uh, I could probably take these two out and substitute Valkyrie, I mean, take out Valkyrie and Debris, if I can talk, and pin in Squirrel Girl, and our second option would really be, um, probably Zabu, or Kazaro, there he is. So, Kazaro would be there for, like, really just, yeah, well, well, Debris would be still needed for Kazaro too, I think. How much does Kazaro give again? Oops. So just a plus one. He's no better in my opinion. There's no reason to have Kazaro over um, Blue Marvel except for the fact that I guess like Kazaro is one cost cheaper and then so you could play you could I guess you could combo him more with other things like Iron Man Onslaught. Um, but yeah, yeah, that actually probably works. I might actually try it out on my ongoing deck. Actually, now I think back on that. Let me go. To, let me actually. Come on, man. This is the thing about this game. You get inspiration, and you just like, you know what? Let me. Uh, this was the. Okay, yeah. This. The more I look at this deck, I'm like, no, I don't like you at all. Um. I probably should have copied it and pasted it. This, but I remember this deck already decently enough anyway, so it's fine. Um. don't need claw here so what was the cause here okay kazaro um squirrel girl of course oh, i guess sunspot works too there's squirrel girl um I think Angela's okay here. Ant Man, Squirrel Girl, maybe Debris, maybe Debris. Yondu's cool, I think, too. Ebony Maw's probably okay here, too, I think. If any, if any, if there's any deck for Ebony Maw, I think this one's alright. And it should be it. Maybe, maybe Quinjet and Western. No, nah, that's probably too much. Korg, maybe two, maybe not. Hawk, I think Hawkeye's decent here as well. Over, is he over? Is he over anyone else here? A uh, one three. I think Hawkeye's cool here, and right, then um. I guess Blue Marvel as a substitute in case we just, just to give us some coverage on, like, in case we just don't get, um, in case we just don't, I think a uh, Strongman actually also works here too. Actually, we might, we might run that Strongman because we should clear our hand for the most part. Unless, like, what, why wouldn't we better clear our hand, right? Four, three, four. I think Strongman could really work here. I just don't. I'm just not 100 percent sure. It might be the first and only deck I think Strongman can work in. I just cannot I'm trying to pinpoint it right now. Does he really fit here? Okay. It, all right. All right. All right. Here we'll we'll play this really quickly. Just one. I just want to see how that. I just really want to see how this like plays out. Honestly, I need. I wish. It, 
I'm gonna I'm open a discard. That way I can get in the open like stream with you guys and uh and, and just get people to just join and test out test out uh, maps and stuff. Yeah. That is not bad. Okay, sunspot early. Let's see what you got. If this Nova, then I know we're screwed. Okay, Blade, this is discard deck. Yeah, I hope anyway, or just a random deck, one or two. Can we afford to skip our turn here? I think we might have to wait to skip our turn, honestly. Might maw and uh, what's this? We might maw Ant-Man next turn. That's why I'm, I'm debating not skipping it. Okay, good. Yeah, we made the decent play here. Turn four, we can still make. We can still play all our cards. Turn four. I would have rather have been a. Um, I think you know. Actually, Iron Fist might have been okay just to partner with Angela. Uh, okay, and then we just don't do anything here. I think. Oh, the old, old, old Okie Doke Iron Man play. Okay. Oh shit! Let's just let's just go ahead and snap here. I think we win. We easily win both. Uh, what could he do? Oh, did I? Did me snapping uh, cause me to end my? I get in my turn again. So. Okay, that's fine. That is a okay. This is an ongoing duck, sir. We do not do that around here. Does he quit here, I wonder? What's funny here, too, is we could also win with Kazaro play. Why couldn't we have gotten you a little bit earlier on that? Hey, sorry, whatever. We should still be able to win here, I think. Yeah, I yeah didn't mind it. It didn't mind that at all. You know, with this only really compliments. It really just compliments the Iron Man onslaught play. Honestly, but that's all I I like see this, this as. It's like a very a decent compliment to Iron Iron Man onslaught. Let's actually do one more because I feel like that game went crazy quick. Mm -hmm. Am I tripping or is this an actually decent deck? Or Mike Mike can substitute some of the one one offs, but uh, other than that. Okay, let me get one. All right, nah, we didn't get who I wanted. It's fine. Let me see if Yondu hit something important or just makes my life worse. Because we do draw a card. I'm finna take a card out his deck. If this is not a good card, then we are we are kind of in bad shape. Storm, that doesn't tell me much. But at least now he can't shift the meta or the map. Okay, and she's okay. If I know he was gonna get like Squirrel Girl or something, I wouldn't mind playing him. Um... Let me not set myself up for failure and just go ahead and put. Well, let me just put Ma over here. I think. Okay, good. I think because he's gonna I'm gonna probably destroy that Nova. It's fine. Oh, there's the squirrel grow. I think we want it too, so. That's all right, I guess.
Hmm. Let me actually do this. I think this works okay. Okay, that's fine, yeah. I'm gonna think who do who do you play here? Killmonger maybe? Ant Man here I think wins us. Cause you can't truly overcome What's funny is we could even make this play, I think, too. But I'm really expecting, I'm actually expecting a, um, a Killmonger here, so it really doesn't matter what we do. If we, squir does Squirrel Girl help here either? Actually, to get Angelia up one, let's do Squirrel Girl play. I think uh, Killmonger comes out here anyway, so, uh, yeah, let's see, Ching chi oh, okay, not bad, not bad, not bad, I think the play would, oh, oh, he can't, he can't destroy cars anyway, goofball, what a goofball you are, sir, you didn't know this was Wakanda, sir, Wakanda? Wait, why does why does he get one plus Blue Marvel? Oh, Blue Marvel Kazaro, I forgot. I didn't even think about that. What a play. What a play to end like win all locations that was. So did we and we didn't even snap back crazy. I I forgot about the Blue Marvel and Kazaro. I forget about that now. So Blue Mar oh my god. Blue Marvel Kazaro on top of um Onslaught. Now that's not too crazy. That only gives us four to each car, but that is about the same as. And and how much would that be in one location with those three cars? Cause our row, let me check that real quick. Onslaught, okay, them alone would give me 10, 14 in the location, so not too too crazy. But also, Blue Marvel gives them plus two. Uh, yeah, with Onslaught. So, you know, we get that's another four. Um, and then if we have another one down in that location, let's say like uh, Hawkeye or even Ant Man or something, that's, we can get some crazy power in one location. Or even just Angela in that location is good too. So, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, this deck has potential because it's like versatile in a sense. It's just one cost cards. I don't know. I see, I, it looks decent. It, I think Maul, Maul might, as usual, always can be a hindrance on the team. Like, he literally, and always. But I think this is really his niche here on a, on a team like this, a deck like this. Because he can, he can fill up a location. A location, let me say this, can get filled, you know, by turn three with him. Even if we had, like, Angela. Like, even we play Ant-Man, Ant Angela. No, we don't even have to do that. We can do Angela, then... On turn three, three cost cards. So I mean, three one cost cards. So it can it's potential here. So, but anyways, I made this crazy long. Hope you guys enjoyed, man. We're out. We're out. Peace.